All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking out. What are we looking at? Well, today, this is Cujo. One of the guys uh, mentioned that, that name in the uh, one of the videos where I said, let's, let's figure out a good name for it. And I'll tell you what, when uh, somebody said Cujo, I was like, that's badass. So, <laughs> introduction to Cujo. All right, what's left on this rifle? Well, we've got a couple things. We're going to be doing a trigger uh, install here in a few minutes on the next video coming up. That's why there's no safety selector in here, because I'm going to have to pull the grip off of it. I... My grip of choice for a rifle like this that's suited for defensive purposes is the BCM Mod 3. I absolutely love these things. Uh, they are economical, but I love the grip. I love the texturing as well as I like these guys right here. So uh, it's just a perfect setup. So what are we talking about here? We're going to be installing a set of backup iron sights. Now, the reason I want to set up backup iron sights on this guy is because... I'm running a red dot or a green dot. Now, this is the Hollow Sun. What in the world is this guy right here? This is their HE515GTC-GR. This is their titanium made. Um, this is this thing's pretty cool. It's got the kill flash on it and all the other stuff. And I've got the mount on it, which I'm going to probably replace with an American Defense QD mount. Just because this specific rifle, I can put a infrared optic on it, and I can utilize it with this guy right here, the, uh, what do you call it, Zenico Purse 4. But before we do that, one of the things I want to do is I want to install this right here. These are the Daniel Defense rail-mounted sight set. Now, I got these off of Big Daddy Unlimited uh, for a ridiculous price. Uh, you have to actually request the price from those guys. But in any case, if you're interested in, uh, if you're building a lot of stuff, I would highly suggest going ahead and investing in that $9.99 a month deal, and you will save that almost a full years on a full on a, on a fulfilling your first order. Well, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so why are we going with the Daniel Defense? Well, because that's what all the cool operator guys use, of course. But, uh, yeah, there are other options out there. Here are a set of mag pulls. These are the m -bus. I would probably dare to say that these are the most popular backup iron sights on the market. Uh, there's nothing wrong with these. I've actually run a competition where we, uh, we did an iron sight challenge. Kicked everybody's ass. Really, I did. But... I ran these guys, didn't have any issues out of it. A lot of people say that uh, don't run these because they, there is movement in it. I, I could see that. Another one of the options that I have, uh, this is one of my other cool rifles that I actually love. I These are the Yankee Hill backup iron sights, and I like these because they have the HK hood that's similarly round. And the backup iron sights. Now, these things right here, you could literally chop a tree down with. I, I love these things, and on this rifle, this is this is pretty deadly. Now, this guy right here is running a DPMS barrel. We'll we'll get to that later on. All right, so what are we doing? Let's talk about these guys. Let's bring the camera in so you can see exactly what the hell we're looking at. Here we go. Stand by. All right, so you get a set of optics or what do you call these things? Uh, backup iron sights. The cool thing about these is that they are in place. They're in place all the time. They are set at a lower co lower one-third co-witness with this riser right here so i'll be able to utilize both the optic as well as these iron sights now the advantages and disadvantages uh they're in place they do not fold down like this so if say for instance i wanted to put uh, a qd mount on this guy and back it up with say a low power variable optic it's not going to work like that. Or if I wanted to, hold on, put a magnifier on this guy, well, guess what? With these, I am not going to be able to do that. So I've had to make a decision. This rifle is a 300 yard rifle. You guys saw me take it out, the 300, using that 36 yard zero. And we'll, con we'll keep it, it'll be isolated to that. Three, 36 yards zeroed and out to three, 30, 300 yards. I'm okay with that. The only other concern I have is I've left enough room up here on the front to install the front sight. Now, the battery on my Zenit Co. comes out on the front side. So that's going to be maybe an issue there. But from what I understand, you can chop trees down with these guys too. You guys let me know what your experiences are on 
uh, the ding of the fence. Let's take a look at these things real quickly. Talk about the pros and cons of them. Of course, I don't have any experience with these things. So you've got a four prong sight post on the top side. And I do carry a sight tool with me. We'll go ahead and put that in. And the nice thing is, is that because this optic is already zeroed in, all I got to do is put these guys on here and go. Uh, so it does use a flathead screwdriver tightening screw right there. Not something that I like. I wish like hell that everybody would go with uh, the Torque T-style screw heads because it lends itself to not stripping out the screw. I'll show you real quickly the uh, Zenit Co. And we're going to do a full-blown review on this guy. But as you can see, they've got a flathead screwdriver right there. I can't stand that. So let's do this real quickly. Flathead screws, very nice. Um, anodized aluminum, it appears. And I'm not sure if that's a steel insert right there or not. Let's go ahead and get a screwdriver so we can back this thing out. I, here we go. Let's go ahead. I want to back that all the way out. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a steel insert or not, but it uh, looks like it's pretty nice. Okay, so we definitely want to do some blue Loctite on there. I'll do that later on. Let's go ahead and just mount it. You're going to have to go ahead and pull your screw all the way up. But I'll tell you what, man. Just that front sight and the screw, 1.1 ounce. That's, uh, that's really nice. That is light. So let's go ahead and put it in place. And what I'd like to do is put it all the way to the front. Wow, well, okay, that, that's, that's nice. And let's put it in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten her up. There we go. Okay, so one of the things I notice is that it's this is a pressure fit. There's no moving parts in it. So what it's doing is it's actually squeezing these two leaves together. That's nice. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and just torque that down just a tad. And yeah, blue Loctite, every single thing. So there you go. That's what that looks like. Not bad. I'm digging the daylights out of that. Okay, so that's looking very much operational, operating. We are doing a good job so far. I love that. Okay, let's take a look at the rear sight. And it's the same thing. It's going to, and that's why they've got the slits in it right here. It's going to tighten up the whole unit moves down here. So there's flex between here and here. Okay, so we've got just like an A1 sight post movement. You've got a small aperture and a large aperture. We can... Use a bullet to depress the detent right there. And we do have a directional right here. Right. You know, I actually looked up to see if anybody's done any kind of reviews on this thing. Now, that's usually, look at how that thing came. It's all the way to the right. Let me see. I want to center that up a little bit before I put it on the rifle. You guys remember going through basic training and having to work with these? Well, you young guys, y'all didn't have this. <laughs> when I went through basic training, uh, we uh, carried uh, A1s. Those are old days. That'll tell you how old I am. I want to just get that thing centered up a little bit. And that shows you how easy it is. Okay, so now we're centered up. You can see it a little bit better. We do have, again, small aperture large aperture you have the directional indicator right there Daniel defense patent pending yeah all right so let's go ahead and mount this and I'll go ahead and put it I guess we could put it all the way to the rear and you know what there we go we'll go ahead and pop it on like that I don't know if I want it all the way to the rear How about right there keep it centered up one of the things I do like to have is I don't want to have a whole lot of 
anything that gets in the way of my charging handle right there. So I'm going to bring that up. Let's see how it looks real quickly. And just tighten it down. Make sure we move it all the way to the forward section of that pick rail. I like what they're doing these days with the optics. They're actually putting a slot that will into the pick rail section right there so it does tighten everything up. All right. There we go. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. What do you think? Other than going ahead and securing that uh, tethering line right there for the pressure plate, I think this is a doable. It's a doable. We've got our light. We've got our laser. And we've got our backup iron sights. That is a badass rifle. Okay. So now all we got to do is put a trigger system in it. And I have just the trigger system that I want to put in this guy. All right, guys, with that being said, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you have any experience with the uh, backup iron sights, I might move that back a notch or two. I just don't know if I like it where it's sitting. Uh, but yeah, the Daniel Defense backup iron sights. Look at that. That's a good looking rifle right there. Yeah, blue line. All right, let me know what your thoughts are. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. These are going on something else because I need flip-ups. But I might have to upgrade to something a little bit on more on the pro side because that rifle's going to be badass. Let's go, boy 32. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. It's freedom. It's not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Look at that thing. Those are kick ass.